Kharkiv University after intense bombardment. This is what's left of the sports complex. It, along with much of Ukraine's second largest city, has been destroyed by intense Russian shelling. This fire-damaged apartment block was smouldering on Sunday as the two sides prepared for a third round of peace talks on Monday. Ahead of the talks, the Russian Defence Ministry said they'd open humanitarian corridors, but the Ukrainian government said Russia is manipulating civilian lives. Back at the university, local residents are documenting the damage and they too are sceptical of ceasefire promises. Everyone should see what is this Russian peace, what it is bringing to our city, but we are not surrendering. The spirit of defiance hasn't wavered in the 12 days since the invasion. If the invasion continues and Russia doesn't give up on its plans against Ukraine, it means that new sanctions, new steps against the war and for peace are necessary. Boycott imports to Russia. If they don't want to respect civilized rules, they shouldn't get goods and services from civilization. Speaking in Lithuania, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has stressed the two countries' efforts against Russia. The United States and Lithuania are united in our resolve to stand with Ukraine. We're surging security assistance to strengthen Ukraine's capacity to defend itself. We're increasing humanitarian aid to the Ukrainian people. We're raising the costs on the Kremlin and all who aid and enable it for continuing this war of choice. President Putin is losing in the court of public opinion overseas, but he's also facing opposition at home. More than 4,000 people were arrested on Sunday in 56 different Russian cities, with age no barrier to being rounded up. Others treated less gently, like this man in Yekaterinburg. In Kyiv on Monday, people were travelling light. Some of their compatriots have already made it to safety. These refugees have arrived in Romania. The ballroom of an upmarket hotel in Sucheva is now being used as a shelter for 2,000 people and 100 pets. The setting might be utterly incongruous, but they're safe. Claire Herriot, TRT World.